Hi everyone. So last fall, no, take it back. <laughs> End of December, I got really excited at the thought because it's it was winter. There was no color anywhere, and I remembered that uh, I needed to check uh, the Proven Winners website to see if maybe there were any pre-orders. And so I was actually able to get kind of a well. I mean, they still weren't cheap, but I was going to be guaranteed to get the colors and the plants that I for sure wanted because I was gonna pre-order so early. So they've come and I am unboxing. So let me show you. This is all from the first box and some of these are going to be for some planters for my sister's por uh, patio that I got for her as a birthday present. Um, this is a plant I, so normally, a little history on me, I would buy, um, a couple I called them porch planters, you know, like those hanging baskets. I'd buy a couple, put them on my porch. I'd water them for a couple weeks fairly regularly and then life and I'd get distracted and busy and think, oh, that doesn't look too bad. It doesn't need water today. Well, no, they really needed water every day because typically the planters, the hanging planters that you would buy from say a big box store, the stuff that's there in, it's not necessarily soil. Um, it's more of like a planting mix that will actually dry out really quickly. So, semi medium length story short, they would all die within a few weeks. But this past summer, I decided I knew I was going to be home more. And I went ahead and I kept seeing all these beautiful plants online. So, I decided to try to just, I ordered a few. I found these planters. At the time, they're nice, heavy clay terracotta pots, nice, decent size, kind of to give you a perspective. And so I was able to get lots of dirt in there, good, good dirt, good stuff. I did actually a mixture of like potting soil, some of the moisture control kind as well, and put a little bit of um, mulch at the bottom so that it would help with some drainage and fill up just the first couple inches because potting soil does get expensive. But anyways, so I filled these up and oh my gosh, they were gorgeous. If I can find a picture, I'll throw it up here in the, no, I won't throw it up. But I will put it in the middle of the video here. Oh my gosh, they were gorgeous, gorgeous. And one of my favorite combinations that I had last year is this licorice plant, um, Helichrysum. I think is the fancy name, the official name. And I had a couple of these with some, I think they were a double petunia. So by double, the flower, I'll show you. So this is a petunia that's just a regular flower. You can see it's just like the typical like cup shape. And then a double, looks a little more like this kind of like a little mini rose now that's not a petunia but it's kind of the same idea and i found this just very pale lemony yellow flower that i put with this and oh it was so pretty but anyways so i've got a whole bunch of more unboxing to do i'm trying a couple other newer ones to me this year um this is called diamond frost euphorbia um, I have Gara in my uh, landscape and I love it. This, I'm not sure if this is something that I can plant after the season or if it might be an annual version, but I'm going to keep unboxing. I'll show you all of it once I get it done and talk just a little bit about what I know about each of the different plants. Here you can see the pots from last year. I had five and I did something slightly different in most of them. And this is not long after I had gotten all five of them planted. The There were three that I did earlier. This is in early July. And then this is just a couple months later. And I'm pretty sure I had trimmed them at this point. They just loved life. They looked great. And all I had to do was keep them watered and fertilized once a week. Before I get everything unboxed, I wanted to show you one of the reasons why I go ahead, why I went ahead last year and this past uh, December ordering these flowers from Proven Winners. First of all, the way they come is so uh, well packaged. They, this uh, 
is just a single layer of plants. So nice tall boxes. They have these inserts in here. Every plant has its own little spot. They wrap it up in butcher paper type paper like this and then kind of crumple the top. So here's one that I haven't unboxed yet. Yes, I had more than one box. I went a little crazy. They're just little bitty things. <laughs> Anyways, so this is what the box looks like when you first open it. And they've watered uh, the plants nicely before they pack them. These actually came a couple days ago, but we were having our nights were like 37, 38. I didn't want to take a chance of getting this many plants and then having them get frost killed um, in case. Um, so I had all the boxes kind of collected up here and I had a canvas drop cloth that I put over top and kind of nestled them together to help make sure everything stayed at least just a couple degrees so that we were over 40 at night for the plants. And then uh, to you can see here that the, the paper comes all the way around and it's kind of connected and then you can see the plant is way down in there so it's very nicely protected from shipping you know bouncing around and whatever and they label them that they're live plants so that uh, the shipping company knows and mine have come as uh, from FedEx so they've come really within just a day or two usually of when they've been boxed up so that is something that for me that between that and being able to get exactly what I want and not having to worry whether or not a local nursery will carry all of the different varieties makes it worth maybe paying an extra dollar or so per plant to be able to have what I want and have it come so well protected and packaged. So I'm going to continue getting everything unboxed and then I'll show you what I've got. So let's have a little annuals parade, I guess. I'll do this kind of quick because you may not be annual people. Of course, if that's the case, you probably aren't still watching. <laughs> um, this was the combination that I had last year that I just loved so much. Look how sweet these little double flowers are. And these went gangbusters in these pots along with the uh, licorice plant. It just was a really pretty soft combination. The little bit darker green on here, the camera for some reason is, it looks a little different on camera than it does in real life. And then these are kind of a soft sage, very pale. There's a lot of gray in it. Again, I don't think it's coming across quite the same on the camera as it is in real person, but it's very soft. There's almost a whitish tone. Um, and the leaves have a slight, almost fuzziness to them. Just, it's just a really pretty calming combination. This year, I got uh, a different kind of licorice plant as well. It's called licorice splash. I don't know, I can't remember where I thought I was going to use this, but even if I had plans when I ordered all of these things, they may get mixed up and rearranged, and that's fine too. Um, and then this is a type of, uh, like a sweet potato vine. They're not sweet potatoes like that you can eat, but the sweet potato vines have lots and lots of different color variations. Last year I got some that were pretty kind of lime green. This year I decided to do some things different. I think I got this one for me because there's just one and it's just all kind of a solid deep deep burgundy color and these tend to to grow kind of gangbusters for sure. You want to make sure you leave plenty of room in a pot for those as well as the licorice. And then this is the collection that I believe I got for my sister. Not positive. Uh, there's only one coleus here so I may not have gotten that for her. Uh, I'll have to look back at what I had planned, but I've got some uh, Super Bells Coralina, uh, some Super Tunia Honey, and um, the blooms on these kind of got unhappy sitting in the uh, boxes, but uh, they're, they're from the picture, they're just a really pretty, oh, these are double amber. So I've got a couple honeys, which have a little bit of almost like a coral in with the yellow. And then these are a, a double amber, just a little more on the amber end of the scale. And then this, these are Super Bell's um, double orange. My sister likes the kind of warmer colors. These are a Coralina. So to kind of explain a little bit, Super Bell's and Petunias look very similar. 
Um, super tunias tend to be very vigorous growing plants. The bubblegum, like a, a bubblegum pink color, are, is one that I hear a lot of people talking about that's very vigorous, grows quite a lot. These definitely grow, but they didn't necessarily take things over. Um, but super bells are act, they look like, like mini petunias and they have both the singles and some doubles and I have some other over here that are doubles. I can show you the difference. But these are just a little smaller. They're actually something called calabrocha, but it's a very similar look. So they play really nicely in a mixed container with a petunia um, just to give a slightly different texture and color. Um, I think sometimes they might be called mini bells in other um, places. The, then I've also got here, I got her a couple of the uh, sweet potato vines as well, but these have a little bit of like that limey green mixed in. So it's kind of a combo. So that'll be hers. Again, I think I may have gotten this for me. It's a type of coleus, which are can also be very vigorous. This is the Color Blaze Wicked Witch. And just, I loved when I saw it online, the combination of the, the pale kind of lime green edges with the deep, deep burgundy. I think I got it to go with this. Um, this is the one I already talked, showed you that's new to me this year. It's Diamond Frost Euphorbia. I know a lot of people use it. I thought it was nice and kind of a little more airy and light and would bring some lightness to some of the containers. Then I've got some Gara. I've got several of the white, one of the pink, and that's really actually because they only had one pink one when I was ordering. And then I've got several different varieties of super bells and petunias, super petunias. So this is a double. So you can see that instead of just the little cup like this, that's a single bloom, these kind of have kind of layered in there. So it almost gives it like a little mini rose kind of look. I, I just think it's a, a really pretty so these are Super Tunia Priscilla, so they'll be a, a little bit bigger presence. And then I've got a big collection, uh, several different kinds of Super Bells. Sorry, that's kind of sideways. Um, so we've got some Blue Moon Punch, some Double Blue, which means it's got the little double. Um, such a delicate, pretty little flower. I just think that's so pretty. Um, some Bordeaux, got a few of those. Those I had last year and they did real well. Um, then these are some doublet super bells and have a little bit of a pickety almost look where there's a little bit of white edging i think that's just precious and then these are a super bell plum and then i've got some super bell i think those are double blues uh, these are super bells grape punch and then some Super Bells Miss Lilac. And these don't have any little blooms on them, but they just have a, a paler, kind of lilac-y looking um, with a little bit of a color in the center. So I'm excited to get these and play with them with my containers here and figure out exactly what I'm putting with what. And I also, just to wrap up all the annuals um, in one video conversation here, I have a bunch of stuff that I started from seed thinking that um, I would like to add a couple containers on my back patio. So I found these at Home Depot. I don't remember if I said these, by the way, when I got them last year, $5. They're, when I looked the other day, I was going to maybe get a couple more because they're just nice and sturdy. I don't remember, but it was double digits. It wasn't like outrageous for a nice sturdy terracotta pot but it was like I don't know 17 18 20 something like that way more than five um, found these nice kind of a little more elegant look with the, the pedestal there I did have to drill a hole in the bottom I didn't think it was gonna be that big a deal because the the basin is a you know a rather larger size I already had planted a couple things uh, some pansies and stuff uh, and put them on the back patio and I didn't bother to put holes in them and oh my goodness we had lots and lots of rain and it was just like a pond so I'm gonna have to figure out a way to put holes in those back there but anyways all of these are things that I have grown from seed so let me see if I can remember what everything is so these are impatience uh, these I think are snapdragons this is some coleus um, these are petunias and these I 
I don't remember. I'll see if I can find the tag. <laughs> Might be a different kind of petunia. Um, so I did kind of a similar collection over here. Petunia. Yeah, these might be also petunias because I had, it was really weird, in the tray that I have them in, you can see here, the ones that were all at this end got way bigger, and then these down here stayed a lot smaller. So, and then when I was planting, I had several of these cells that had two, so I was trying to kind of take them apart. So some of them ended up kind of small. But anyway, so this is just a conglomeration of some snapdragons, a coleus in the middle, um, some petunias and some impatience. So we'll see how these do. I've obviously got plenty more. Um, and I've also got in here, let me see what this is again. Oh, these are pansies. And I think what my original plan was, and then I just got tired, was to ring around here with some pansies as well. And I think I just ran out of gas and got tired and didn't get that part done. So I think I may try to add in a few more pa few pansies around here. We'll see. And then these I'm doing for my sister. Definitely going to put um, some snapdragons and things in here. So we'll see how that all gets ends up. This is one of those things where I don't always, I kind of plan ahead, but then as I'm doing it, I decide to change. And the way I do my planning ahead is I literally went to the website for Proven Winners and I would I just grabbed pictures and put together the things into combinations that I thought would be pretty. And one of the nice things that they do have on the Proven Winners website is they have what they call recipes. So if you find a plant you like, like you think, oh, this licorice plant, it's just so pretty. What would be some good things to put with it? You can look down and see on the, on the page for that plant and they'll have recipes. So you can go look at those recipes and see if they've got those plants or see if you can find those plants at a local garden center. It's always better if you can support your local garden center and put that together to make your planter uh, for your summer porch or patio or wherever. Uh, a lot, I know there are also pe some people who put these kinds of things in their flower beds. I am not about the annuals in my flower beds. Things that go in my flower beds are things that I can plant, give them a little attention the first year if needed, and then very minimal, low maintenance. And this, although it looks like it'll be a lot of maintenance, it actually won't once I plant them. And by the way, something that I'm gonna be adding in with their soil is a um, slow release, continuous release plant food. I went ahead and got this from Proven Winners. I actually got it as part of the promotion from buying all these plants they sent it to me for free so we'll see how this works there's also a little bit of fertilizing uh, action in the potting soil that i'm using and then there is a uh, water soluble fertilizer i don't have it out here that i will use once every week or two that i'll just put on i'll put it in my watering can add water to dilute it to the right strength and then I'll just water everything once a, a week like I said or maybe every two weeks and then once I get all these established I will probably go ahead and set that soaker hose up again and then I don't won't even have to mess with watering I can just look out the window or sit out here on the porch and enjoy it the road I live on gets a little busy this time of day so apologize for the cars that you hear going by but that is my annual getting started extravaganza for this year once I get everything all put together I'll take a couple pictures put them up here and let you see but so here is what these looked like not long after I got them planted they did get a little bit of time uh, to grow before I took these pictures but all in all, I think everything looks really pretty. It came together really nicely. I put things together like I had had last year that I really liked. So this is the double chiffon uh, super bells with the licorice plant. And in that previous picture were kind of the mishmash of things that I had left over. Um, and then all across the front, I did plant all of those, all of these planters have the gara, one gara in the middle, and then some variation of blues, purples, lilacs, 
uh, the one in the middle has some pinks ringing around the gara and they just look so pretty and the gara just floats in the air and I am so excited to show you what they look like now. And this is how everything is looking now. We are getting towards the end of July. And as you can see, everything looks pretty happy. The um, Gara is sky high. I haven't had to really do any trimming. Um, that's one of the things if I'm going to do planter pot, uh, porch pots, I really don't wanna have to do a whole lot of maintenance beyond the watering and the fertilizing. And last year, one of the things that helped, and I didn't get it done yet this year, is I set up a soaker hose on a timer. And I need to do that because I noticed this morning that this one and this one, I think, are suffering just a little bit because I have not been um, as consistently watering every day. So I need to set my soaker ho hose up again. And then all I have to do is come out once a week and mix up some fertilizer and um, pour it on and the fertilizer that I like to use I've used two things last year I used one from a spoma that was a liquid called bloom this year because I had ordered so many plants I got this for free from proven winners it's a, a water soluble plant food it's like a powder and you just put uh, basically I think it's two scoops per or one scoop per gallon of water and I keep a watering can here hidden uh, on the porch I just can put the two scoops in there and mix it up and water everything straight from the watering can when I first planted everything this was also something I got because I ordered so many plants um, this is a continuous release and it's like little uh, little beads almost and I think I'm going to give them another shot of that um, sometime later today I'll add this into each of the pots to give them some uh, slow release food but oh, they just look really really good and I love the euphorbia I've not had that before I actually bought some seeds because next year I'm gonna try growing things myself I actually had a little bit of success growing some petunias from seed and uh, so and some coleus so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try that and see if I can grow my own things. I may get a couple types of plants and I'm just going to this year, next year, I'll get those from my local nursery uh, because we have one that, that does carry the Proven Winners plants. And so I'm going to just wait if I feel like I really need maybe some of the little super bells with the double uh, blooms because this is still one of my favorite combinations. It's the licorice plant <clears throat> with the... Um, I think lemon chiffon double super bells it's just such a pretty calming combination um, but everything looks overall pretty good pretty healthy it's just something really pretty to look at here on the porch and something that I will definitely be continuing to do every year because once I get them planted especially if I can get that soaker hose set up it's really not that much maintenance and effort especially considering how pretty it is. So there you go, porch pots update. I'll try to post a picture later in the summer after I get that uh, soaker hose set up because I think uh, then they'll really start overflowing these pots. But looking good, have a great uh, week and thanks for joining me here in Aunt Susan's garden.